This is a significant moment in South Africa's history. For the first time, a former head of state is in the dock facing corruption charges. Jacob Zuma looked subdued as a judge adjourned the beginning of his trial to June to give lawyers time to prepare. This matter is adjourned to the 8th of June, 2018. Outside the courtroom, his supporters waited. When he came on stage, he said the court proceedings had been politically instigated. In 2005, I was in this same court facing these same charges. I've never heard of anyone having charges dropped, then reinstated. The judge dropped the case because he felt the matter had been politicized. Zuma's African National Congress Party has kept its distance, unlike in his previous scandals. But party members arrived at court dressed in ANC regalia, despite warnings not to, from party headquarters. Supporters of Jacob Zuma have come from across this region called KwaZulu-Natal, which is a stronghold of the former president. They say that they believe his innocent has been unfairly targeted and vilified and that they will stand by him till the very end. He's accused of receiving bribes to use his influence in the ANC in favor of a French arms company and later to protect the company from investigations. This group and fighter jets filmed a few years ago were part of the deal. Some legal and political analysts say that the state has enough evidence to guarantee a conviction. One must remember that his former financial advisor, Shabir Sheikh, was in fact convicted of corrupting him. The state at that time showing four instances in which it said it could prove and did prove that Zuma had circumvented his duties under the Constitution by doing favors for Sheikh and his business interests as a consequence of being on what the state termed as a sort of corrupt retainer. This is a matter that has divided South Africans, but many of them, including Zuma supporters, say they are tired of waiting for so long for answers. They hope they won't have to wait many more years to get a verdict, no matter what that verdict is. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Darbon.